some people's opinion the new designs keep becoming lazier and lazier. Designs are too simplistic or they look like they're AI generated and whatnot. As for me, I think it's the polar opposite of that, but it still set off a light bulb for an idea. If the designs are so called simplistic or badly made, just how good of a design can you truly get from a lazy design method? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be answering that exact thing with the challenge for today's video. Having someone scribble for me complete nonsense and checking just how good of a Pokemon design can I get from it. If that doesn't sound already good enough, we've got a special guest to doodle something for me to recreate. So make sure to watch the video till the end so you don't miss out on the best part of the video. Speaking of content, let's get straight to it. For the first design I got my brother to come and sketch something for me that I'll be turning into the first Pokemon, as you can see here. Now that we got the design, let's get straight to it. So, technically this was the hardest one since I started off the challenge with this one and I didn't have really an idea how to do this, so I kinda trained and messed around with this design so I would get a better understanding with the next few. Now of course a hard part for this challenge as well is coming up with the designs of course, not just the spriting itself. And yeah, that pretty much took the longest for each of these free sprites. Yeah, I'll be doing free. So that was a little bit pain in the ass because you gotta be a bit at least creative with the designing process since you know they're scribbles after all how could you really come up easily with a competent design like as you see right now with the legs you saw how they were little stick figures at least they were close enough that i could somehow manage to pass them off as you know chunky feet like a camera up or whatever no, well, feet-wise, leg-wise, I mean. So, uh, that, I when I started off, I thought of, yeah, this will be like a powerhouse. Again, like a camera, ch chunkiness-wise, not the design-wise, actually. For the time it took to create this, it was the second longest out of the three. The fastest one will be next. And, of course, the special guests one, of course as I would have expected and wished, took the longest since I wanted to make it as the best design. Since... I'm, I mean, it's pretty obvious and I'll, I'll stop saying since. I hear you. And with those skulls in the design, I just came up with them because the outline for the sketch, doodle, whatever, kinda resembled skull undersides or whatever. But yeah. Oh, um, it's a bit spooky here, but I guess that's where the first design lives in, so let's go find him, yay! Ah yes, there we go. Grievoso's Pokédex Entry It wanders around fields where there have been Pokémon battles in recent time in search of remains. Since its body is so fragile, it uses grim tactics like covering itself in found remains to fend off against predators. So, the next Pokémon Scribble was made by... My Ma! Yeah, make your jokes, whatever, anyways, cool. Of course it's a heart, you know? Yeah, this will be a tough one to remake. So, a balloon that's shaped like a heart. There's really limited things you can do with it. I started with, you know, making the little finicky thing under the bottom of the balloon in which you blow air in, trying to make that as a feet. Didn't work out. Instead, I went to the strings that are attached to the balloons and I decided, wait, actually, this could be quite good. And what I did is made that the string is always making a heart shape, so it fits with the concept. 
I used anything that was included in the design to make it somewhat better. A little bit buffer hands than the rest of the things. Yeah, that could be a big palms or gloves. There's a ribbon in this design. Let me move that around. The concept or theme is hearts. Let me shape the eyes and mouth like hearts. And again the string. You know, just to use anything that is there since it is so limited. And as you can see, I went through a lot of revisions, a lot of changing. Because it is a really hard uh, thing to work with to create a design. And as you'll see in the end, the animation kinda suffers from this. Because to keep the concept alive, you know, the string kinda needs to stay in one place. So there's that. Phew, I'm finally out of that forest. Now to find that creepy looking balloon that is somehow always shaped like a heart. Woohoo! Wow, um, yeah, we're really pushing the limit here. Balloon Tines Pokedex Entry This Pokemon likes to hang around people, especially kids. Since it has an outgoing rivalry with Drifloo, it more commonly is seen around overweight kids. Well, 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 we finally made it to the special guest. Have you guessed who he is? Well, Let's ignore that and let me just tell ya, it's Purple Thunder and me. Let's see what he finally sent us in my first ever collab. Yeah, I think I can work with this. Okay, first off, let me start by saying this is easily the longest one I've ever made, which regular viewers may have heard, but I've got a feeling this will not be taken over for a long while. In total, it took me 2 hours and 30 minutes, and this footage is sped up 45 times, and I still edited and trimmed it out just so you don't have to watch this whole thing through. And yeah, speaking of long stuff, I've got an internship starting today, so that means I've got way less time for videos, but I still hope you'll have fun watching these videos that I'll scrap together for the little times I have, and you'll be somewhat patient, uh, patient enough for me please and uh, wait for the videos, I'll still try the YouTube shorts though. And yeah, let's also just say this is kinda a Halloween special, why not? And yeah, I of course tried my best for this the most, since it is a really special occasion. My first ever collab, technically. Especially with such a cool YouTuber like Purple Thunder and Me. I'll link his channel down below, if you haven't seen any of his legendary videos, please go check him out. Although he's way bigger than me, so whatever. And yeah, I'll, I tried the, the sword holster design thingy uh, incorporating into the whole Pokemon design itself since clothes and or items in Pokemon designs really do doesn't mesh well for me, so there's that. And all in all, I think it's definitely my mag magnum opus or my best creation yet. Like, this is so cool, wait until you see the animation then you'll definitely understand why I think that. And maybe you'll even like the design yourself, who knows? Like, I'm so proud of this. So if ever anyone wants to associate me with my art, please do it with this one. Wow, would you look at that, we somehow came all the way to Route 1. I mean, I guess that means that Route 1 has the best Pokémon, since the best is for last. Let's go find that, son of a bitch. Oh, I want to cuddle him so badly. Grinnigix Pokedex Entry There have been many swords straight into rocks recently, found in various places around nearby forests. Thanks to a trainer owning a Grinnigix, it was discovered that it was the cause of this Pokemon. Because of this, the species has also been given a nickname, Bearfur. So. 
That's pretty much it for this video. Of course, here are some quick comparisons between the initial and final designs of the Pokemon. I really hope you enjoyed this video because I really had the blast making it. And yeah, please let me know which was your favorite, how would you improve some of these designs, and maybe some ideas for related videos to spriting, yeah, pretty cool. Okay, I'm not going to waste your time since I know how stupid that is. Anyways, thank you for watching, please do subscribe, and uh, stay tuned, see you soon!